Starship Troopers Extermination is probably one of the most fun games I've played as of recent. I'm not typically a fan of first person shooter games, but this one definitely has been scratching an itch that I didn't know I had before. Mechanically, it's not super sweaty, uh, the gameplay is really fast and snappy, uh, everything feels chaotic as heck and that's really fun when you're stranded on an alien planet surrounded by man-eating bugs. Gameplay wise, I would say it's similar to a love child between Killing Floor 2 and Halo on PC. I'm not like a huge Starship Troopers nerd, but I've watched the movie back in the day when I was a kid and I thought it was awesome. Uh, really a big fan of all the kind of crazy alien creatures and stuff, so I feel like this game really hits the nail on the head when it comes down to that. Um, there might be some differences between like the lore and stuff that I'm not really aware of, but when it comes down to shooting massive bugs with really cool futuristic technology and trying to survive with you and your friends, uh, it's awesome. Another really cool thing is the fact that you get to play with 16 people per lobby, so like if you got 15 friends, you know, no problem, you got 14 friends. No problem. In fact, that's probably one of the reasons why this game is so much fun, is the amount of people in a singular lobby. You really feel like your teammates are watching your back and you're working together as a unit. Uh, usually, in my experience, it's like every man for themselves with these kind of shooter games, but with this game, teamwork is absolutely critical. You cannot solo this game. You need, you know, your teammates and your squad members, and it, it's just so awesome when, you know, you're running from a bunch of bugs, you look up, and it's, there's a bro with a giant machine gun just mounted on the cliff, just watching your back, spraying it down. It's, uh, it's awesome, honestly fucking sick. And uh, one of my favorite parts about playing this game is interacting with your fellow troopers. Team play wise, I'm gonna be real. We got a lot of Bastion players out there and they're loving the big machine gun, but I'm gonna be real. The, the real MVP of the game is the medic. And the reason why the medic is the MVP of the game is because of one thing. I don't care about healing, I don't care about, you know, wounds, none of that. Ammunition. Ammunition supply, baby. Ammunition is worth more than salt, and salt's worth more than gold, and we got a lot of ammo, so we're ammo rich, baby. But as long as you're ammo rich, them bugs gonna go down real quick. The moment you run out of ammo, you know, it's been an honor, all right? That being said, you get three classes to pick from. There's the Bastion, which I talked about. They do with the big machine gun, spray and pray, big damage, tanky boy, you know, kind of fun, uh, really nice if you like, you know, putting bullets down range. Uh, after that, you got the Hunter, which is kind of like the, I don't know, average soldier dude. He's got a jetpack, uh, kind of more like a DMR style weapons. Uh, pretty cool, fast maneuverability. Uh, pretty lightweight, though, on the armor, so you're more susceptible to kind of getting chunked and, you know, eaten alive. And then the last one I just talked about, you know, you got the Medic. Uh, you can heal people, you can res people, you can give people uh, aid and stuff, you can drop out of ammo packs, which again, best thing in the game. Uh, you get a little healing drone that can res you when you die, which uh, is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, and then you got like kind of, again, DMR, sniper style weapons, and then at the max level right now you can get a, a grenade launcher, which I haven't gotten yet, but seems like it'd be pretty freaking good. Each class kind of has like a Call of Duty style upgrade system where you level up by gaining XP and then you unlock more guns and perks and, you know, secondaries and grenades, mines, a whole bunch of shit depending on whatever class you're playing. So it's kind of cool. There's a little bit of progression, I guess you could consider it in that way. Uh, it, stuff is limited because of the game is early access. Uh, so, you know, not all the features are there yet, but for what they have available, it's pretty rewarding to actually level up and spend time specializing. So once you kind of got your class picked out and you're a little bit familiar with how the game works and the objectives and whatnot, my favorite part of the game is the enemies. The big old bugs, the big nasty creatures, uh, the creepy crawlies, you know, and there's a good variety too. It's pretty similar to the movie, at least from what I've seen. You know, got some smaller little bugs, you got the, the spiders, the arachnids, you know, classic looking starship troopers, rip your guts out style dudes, and then you got the bigger guys. Uh, there's like a gunner bug that can actually range you, which in my opinion is probably the most deadly one because uh, they get you from, from range. Uh, the, most of the bugs are stupid, they gotta punch you or bite you to get you, but the, the gunners are kind of strong uh, in the regard that they can snipe you essentially. Uh, and then there's like the big, big boys, right? The, you know, the scary boys, the people you ping to your teammates and like, ah shit, we got one of these guys type boys. And uh, for the most part, those are kind of divided up into two categories. You got the, the tigers. 
uh, the tiger spiders, I guess. Um, I don't know what their full scientific name is, but they are big as fuck, and they are scary, and they are extremely mean. Uh, so it's like basically like a you know like a spider, a little a little arachnid, but multiplied times ten. They'll they'll cut you up in one shot, and uh, you don't want to get too close to these guys. They're melee, but they are uh, deadly as hell. And then after that, you got the bombardiers or the grenaders or whatever you want to call them, the mortar bugs, the big old beetles, and what they basically do is point their ass at you and they're going to shit a giant plasma beam uh, down your throat. And that's like similar to a wraith from Halo. Uh, it looks exactly the same and it does equally as big of an explosion when it hits the ground. Um, those guys will also one-shot you if you get hit by one of those things. So um, usually the bombardiers or the grenaders, whatever you want to call them, and the tigers are kind of like the priority targets. Um, and everything else is basically just spray and pray. Uh, but it's kind of cool because it gives you a good variety and you know you got to rotate if there's some bigger enemies in a particular area of the base or the map and you got to work to take down you know the stronger ones so it's not as simple as just shooting a bunch of simple stupid bugs it's more kind of like coordinating together against whatever threat you're going to face which kind of adds some variety into the game and it's definitely rewarding when you take down one of those big fuckers so there's like a few different game types you can play. Um, they're pretty similar in a sense that you go through an area, you secure it, you gather something or do something, and then you get the fuck out of there. And so pretty much once you've got your objective done and you've cleared the bugs in the area, um, you're going to get called in for an extraction. And that's basically like the craziest part of the game, right? Because everything is spawning, and they're spawning very you know, like higher tier enemies, I guess. And at the same time, you have a limited time right, frame to get ship? to the dropship, the extraction point, the, you know, your, your safety, to get off the planet with your life, right? Return home with your citizenship that you've earned through hard hard combat. Um, and, and like I said, this is insane. It's basically like a kind of like a rush to uh, the ship as fast as you can while dodging bugs that are trying to make sure that you cannot escape the planet. It's crazy, there's usually a lot of yelling, no man left behind, and then there's a lot of men left behind. <laughs> um, but sometimes you'll play with a team that's like super coordinated and super into making sure everybody gets out alive, and that's everybody a lot of fun. Inside, let's go. Um, but it's absolute chaos for about five minutes, and uh, if you can actually manage to get on get to the, sh the extraction ship, uh, you're gonna get you know more XP and more rewards and stuff like that. But in general, I think it's fun as a team to try to get everybody on the ship. Um, when the extraction ship does appear, uh, respawning is disabled. So if you die, you are dead. You're KIA. You're not gonna make it out. You know, rest in peace. I'll send some flowers to your wife and kids. But uh, you know, I'm I'm getting the hell off this planet. I'm gonna get on that ship uh, or die trying. I'll help you up if you're on if you're in front of me on your way, but you know, kind of. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the fuck out of here too, boys. You know what I'm saying. My only gripes with the game so far would be how bright flashlights are when there's a lot of people pointing in one location, um, how much the ground shakes when there's an explosion or a tiger walking around, and also the fact that it's in early access. I don't know what else they're gonna add. Uh, it does seem like a semi-complete game in the state that it is in already. Maybe the replayability is a little bit low because there are only two mission types at the moment. Um, but I'm sure they're going to add more content. And from the, uh, at least the unlockables per class, they, it seems like they have additional stuff on the roadmap. So it does seem like a promising game. I would be, you know, a little bit apprehensive because it is early access. And I say that with any early access game, no matter how good it is, just be aware it's early access. And technically it's not done yet, but it is cheaper, I'm pretty sure, because it is in early access. So at least for 25 bucks USD, I've already gotten my money's worth. I would say it's uh, really fun. I played it probably like five or six hours the first day I got it. And I've been playing it for the, about the same amount of time since. Um, so if you got some friends who are really into Star Starship Troopers and kind of RPing and being a little silly. Um, I think this is a great game. It gives you the combat. It gives you the, um, you know, the team play, and uh, it gives you a chance to be kind of funny and have a good time with uh, a large group of people, which again is one of the big selling points for me. If you end up picking up this game and giving it a try, leave a comment in the description. And let me know what you thought of it. I'm really curious. Now that the opinions are done, here's some clips of me getting super drunk and playing with my friends. Enjoy. Valaka. Valaka is getting fucked right now by big ass bugs. They're all over her ass. There's the shitter bug up here that we gotta. Alright, 
Yeah, let him do it. Push up super far. Oh shit! The Terminator come get you. <sighs> There's so many right guys. Oh, I Fuck. got bombs. Fuck. He's got bombs. They're everywhere. Oh my god, there's two of the shitter bugs over here. You gotta be shitting me. There's three of them. Oh, there's four of them. What the fuck? Shoot it in the cock hole quick. Oh, I see you, I see you. Killed it. Come on, you apes. You wanna live forever? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yes. Well, yes what, I do. What, what if I want to die? Well, that's certainly on the menu. <laughs> I just don't want to die to arachnids. That's all. Where are you at, brother? I'll put you down. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. <laughs> Mom's doing her part, brother. <laughs> Why are we doing a gate there? Yes. I don't know. Uh, I just build. I don't I don't So the the arc, the the gold star thing we need to protect or we lose the game. Oh shit. What did he just say? What did he just say, dude? Uh, can you that, he said uh, good morning, China. This is ice cream. Oh, fuck yeah. Big bug, big bug over here, brothers. Oh, we got tigers. He's oh, fucking Lord. dead. All right, I'm on my way to Kush. Kush, we oh, got Oh, Lord, fucking, we got tigers. We got, we got the tunnel. Big, big, big boy. boy. Oh, Lord, we got tigers. Whoever built this base has schizophrenia, dude. What the fuck? The, the walls don't go anywhere. <laughs> it's like the Winchester Mystery House. Yeah. They just kept building they had to. They're walking behind our walls, boys. What the fuck is this shit? Get ready, for, get ready for the dropship symbol. It's about to show up. We need to go straight to that. Or else we are fucked. You can't respawn, by the way. Don't. If you oh, die, fuck. you're dead. Okay, where are we going? Where is okay, okay. Do what no man left Where behind, brothers. Go forward. I need to find you. Just look for the goal icon. Yeah. Okay. I'll see, wait I for see. you at the ramp. Okay, we're just running together. Medics, if you can, heal people. Move, 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 move. Turn around to shoot. Turn around to shoot. Turn around, shoot. Turn around to shoot, brothers. Come on, come on, come on. Move, move, move. Cover fire, cover fire. Come in the front. We'll hold the back. <laughs> Move, 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 move! 100 meters, brothers, 100 meters! Let's go Let's home. Go. We got our citizenship today, hell yeah, good work, boys. Set up fortifications and get everybody home. Gonna see my see wife again. again. <laughs> Fuck see my, my wife. wife. <laughs> my child wife. <laughs> Okay, now you get to die. You don't get to fuck your wife. No, no, this is a, this is a denial. Oh, I don't want to. No one wants to fuck my wife. My wife sucks. sucks. You know what? You know I'll stay by. There is the good trooper. All right, everybody, get on. Get in. Everybody the boat, in. Baby. Everybody in. Get on the get ship, the brother. Boat. Am I on it? You gotta get in it inside. If you get in the boat, we are leaving. I don't know. I'm on top of it. You get in? No, no, you're not on top. You gotta climb down the front. There's like ramps. You gotta climb inside. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay, I found yeah. it. Okay. There's two sides. Either one is good. We didn't lose anybody, brothers. Everybody on. We're getting the fuck out of here. Yeah! Zero troopers KIA. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Everybody's going home today, brothers. Hell yeah. Everyone stand underneath the red marker. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm capping, I'm capping. This isn't right here. <laughs> there you go. Jesus. <laughs> well, son well, of a gun, gun, you got him. Got him. <laughs> uh, my friend, there's a camera over there, right there. <laughs> I didn't I sign a consent form. form. That's, that's that's sexual, sexual assault. assault. 
That's sexual love, if you ask me. <laughs> Put me, Put on, me the on the couch, couch brother. Put, Put me, me on the couch. couch. I ain't got no couch. Put, Put you on the wall. Wheelchair, Daddy. God, God damn. damn. I want to be ninja. I want to be ninja. All right, we need to move over here. Over there, heads up. Dude, I just keep shooting my teammates. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Does anyone want to buy some crack? <laughs> we got a crack seller, dude. I have bug crack. Mm, bug crack. Mm -hmm. Crack. crack. Crack, crack by the by pound, pound I buy it. Buy it. Mm. <laughs> you want to buy some crack? I have sewer crack. Oh shit, he's got sewer crack. Damn, Damn that's like legendary, legendary crack. crack. Real crack shit. It's green. This is all wrong. Mm. We don't need defenses, guys. Mm. Lotion, Lotion on my, on my dick, dick, there is. is. <laughs> Stroking it, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you say? I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. You want his comment? Come to the bar. He said, stroking my chef name. <laughs> You have the shittiest mic, too. <laughs> hey, just boys killing bugs, am I right? We're just a bunch of boys. We're just a bunch of boys killing bugs. <laughs> you are going to have 30,000 in <laughs> dude, stop playing, playing with that. Yeah. <laughs> He's not playing with the headphones long, dude. I can just read the game on. <laughs> Cock and ball torture? This is. An ammo dispenser. Reloading my rocket launcher right here. <laughs> Carnage <Carter Jekyll. laughs> Holy shit, dude. You good, homie? What are you gonna do about it, you little green fuck? Mm, destroy you, I will. I'm gonna replace all of your drinking water with menthols. <laughs> oh, no, shit. Pleased I would be. <laughs> Let's compare sizes right now. Pull it out. It's not about the side. side. It's not about the all size, right, but if you can beat me in a short slide. We're leaving. We're going to, uh... Dillard's! <laughs> Yo, Dillard's. I'm gonna all yeah. some nice premium Clendathu sickies. <laughs> well, shit. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I get hours and hours and hours of footage of this type of shenanigans and funny shit, so if you like, uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see some more, and I could chop it up and upload it. Have a good day, everybody.